guys, gals, cats, kittens, monkeys, giraffes, snails. It's me. It's your pal, Uncle Jaja. Here to tell you another story to help you fall asleep. Yeah. I'm going to tell you another bedtime story. And, and, uh, and my story is going to help you uh, have really, really cool dreams. And when you wake up tomorrow, you're going to be really excited for school. And if it's your mom or your dad who's listening to this, you'll be really super excited to, to go to work and make lots of money for your job and your company. Because that's good. That's your purpose in life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my purpose in life is to tell you a story. Now, if you're listening to this, oh, that's so great. That is so great. I'm going to tell you a story using pictures that I found while I was out riding my bicycle. And you don't need to see the pictures. I'm, I'm going to tell you what happens in the pictures. But if you, if you want to see the pictures... You can, you can see, you can see me read the story on my YouTube channel. But now it's time for me to tell a story. So a long time ago, in the place that I, oh, yeah, you know what? I remember this because I told you a story. This happened in, in ancient, ancient Greece. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Mm. In ancient, ancient Greece. Uh, there was a contest. There were some games, and there was like a competition. And, 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 and this was uh, uh, the same day. The same day, this was uh, this was a part of the competition I didn't tell you about because I didn't see it. I only saw some of the contests in this competition. But I'm going to tell you what happened during these contests now. I can do that. So one of the contests, it was a person carrying a contest but to make it more cool is uh, one team said hey we're gonna we're gonna do an actual carrying carrying contest so one of us is gonna carry our partner and our partner's gonna carry something too because it's only two people are allowed right anyway so one of us is going to carry our partner, and our partner is going to carry a bunch of... And they looked around, and looked around, and looked around, and they said, Oh, yeah, we're going to carry those. So we're going to carry a bunch of sticks. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be like the ultimate carry and carry champions of the carry contest. So, so that's what they did. And so one person lifted up their partner. is really, really heavy. And then the partner lifted up some really big, really, really big sticks. And then they, they walked and then they walked and they walked and it wasn't very easy. It wasn't very easy. And I think maybe they had to stop. They had to stop and take a break. Because it was really, really hard. You know, oh my God, it was so hard. What to do, what to do. So they stopped. And what else happened? What else happened? Well, in another contest, in another contest, um... Oh, do you remember, do you remember uh, this guy? So there is this old guy. Remember I told you in the last contest, I told you, I told you in the last bedtime story involving the ancient Greece. There was this, there was this uh, young dude who's like, yeah, my contest is I'm going to push down old dudes. And he saw this one old dude. He's like, oh, I could push this guy down real easy because I'm a, I'm a jerk. I'm not a nice guy. So he went over to this old guy and he said, I'm going to push you down. But it turns out this old guy was 
was a Tai Chi master who trained in Tai Chi Chuan all his life. And he was so old. So that's like a really, 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 really long time. And so he's like really good. So the old guy said, okay, come at me, bro. And the bro was like, okay, bro. And went at him. And, but also the, the dude, he was, he was kind of a wuss anyway. So it didn't really take a lot of effort for the old man to just completely just sidestep him and, and knock the young dude on his butt. And everybody laughed at him. And the, the, and the young dude was like really mad. And he also kind of, he a little bit, he a little bit cried. And everybody laughed at him some more. So he got up and he ran away. Um, he did, he went somewhere. I forgot where, I forgot what I said. So then the old dude was like, okay. Uh, so while everybody's looking at me, what can I, what can I do? Um, I guess I'm gonna carry stuff too. So he picked up the sticks from the other carry team in the carry contest. He picked up the sticks and he said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk around a bit. I'm gonna walk around and, and he, and he picked up his sticks and he walked around and he walked around and he walked around. And then, uh, I guess he was kind of old and he got confused. So he walked around a lot and he walked out of the game place, the arena, I guess. And he kept walking around. He got kind of tired. So he, he laid down and took a nap. But meanwhile, during the contest, people were like, oh, he's carrying stuff. But he kind of went out. Where did he go? What did he do? So unfortunately, he probably should have, should have stuck with the skill he can do really well, which is like, you know, Tai Chi. Um, but he didn't. Uh, he was like, oh, I'm going to carry stuff. But apparently that was not his strong suit. So he wasn't very good at it, and he lost. Meanwhile... Another contest was happening, and the judges were very excited. And there was this, there was this uh, really good-looking young dude who looked like he was in really good shape. And he had a lot. He had robes. And he had a dress on. And he had long hair and a long beard. I kind of dig the long beard, though. And he was, and he could make a fire. So he said, "I'm going to do a fire dance, but I'm also going to dance." to Enya but I'm not gonna hum any Enya songs because I only know the one song and I don't want to get in trouble because I don't have permission to sing that song anyway so he chose that song and maybe another Enya song that he was gonna do a dance but in his dance he was going to tell a story with his dance so while some people were playing some Enya, he did this dance that was telling this story. And I don't really know what the story was. But, but basically, this contest, uh, he was doing an interpretive dance. An interpretive dance is when you are telling a story through your dancing, not with your words. And everybody loved it. Everybody loved it so much. They loved it so much that they asked him to come and draw They asked him to draw a P, the letter P. And he did. He drew the letter P with his fire dance and his interpretive dance. He drew the letter P. Why did he draw the letter P? It's hard for me to see. I have to look through the letter. Why did he draw the letter P? Because maybe it was his favorite letter. That's what it was. It was his favorite letter. So he drew a P. And he drew a very beautiful picture of a P. Is it just a letter P? It was a picture. And, um... Anyway, that's what he did, uh, uh, and uh, and he won, and he won. But but uh, but of course you knew that because in your dreams, 
you are dreaming that he won this contest. And maybe you are dreaming you are dancing too. You are dancing and you are having fun dancing and everybody really liked your dance. Okay. And you could draw letters with your dance. Because, and, and I know this because you're dreaming and I know you're dreaming because your eyes are closed. Your eyes are closed and your mouth is open. Like this. You know why? Do you know why it's like that? It's because you are asleep. You are asleep. You are sleeping right now. And if you are not sleeping, well, you must be getting tired. And your eyes are getting heavy. Oh, and you're closing your eyes. And you're breathing in. And you breathe out. You breathe in, you breathe out, and you do that until your eyes have to stay closed, and you're very relaxed, and you want to sleep. And what else happens? What else happens in this story? Well, well, at the very end of this story, this dude comes in with a bicycle that looks like a, a, a lion it's true this dude this dude goes to the gym every day he drinks his milk he eats his dinner all of his dinner before he can have dessert and he sleeps. He gets a lot of good sleep. So he's really big. He's really strong. And he's got a really cool bicycle. He's got a really cool bicycle. Because it looks just like a, a lion. And he rides his bicycle around. Now the contest is who has the coolest bicycle. And this guy. This guy. It, so a bunch of people rode their bicycles around. And they were like, yeah, that's kind of cool. But then this guy. He rode in on this bicycle that looked exactly like like a lion and the arms and the legs went up and down when the wheels were turning and it was so cool it was so cool and even he could he could push a bell he could push the bell and it sounded like a lion was was roaring grr grr actually i don't think that's what lions sound like they're like they're like bruh, 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 because um he was trying to make uh, motorcycle noises, but he shouldn't make motorcycle noises. He should, he should be making lion noises. But you know how it is like when you're riding a bicycle and you could put like like a, a, a playing cards or something or Pokemon cards. That's even better. You could put Pokemon cards or your Magic the Gathering cards in the spokes of your of your wheels. And you, you ride around and it goes, and it sounds like you're riding a motorcycle. No, it doesn't. It just sounds like you stuck some cards in your wheels and it makes it go blah, 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 blah. and it re reduces you know the market value of your playing cards so you can't sell them and also you don't really want to play them because they're all ruined by sticking them in your uh, bicycle so don't do that don't do that but you can of course make motorcycle sounds with your mouth that is of course the only right thing to do when you're riding your bicycle, you go vroom, 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 vroom. That's the, you gotta do that. That's what all the kids, the cool kids do that. Or like an ambulance, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Or like a lion, grr. No, wait, that's not a, that's not a lion. Grr is like a, it's like a bear, right? What, what sound do lions make when they are actually not really a lion, but they're a bicycle? What sound do they make? Hmm. Anyway. Mm, that's that is your dream homework your dream homework is to think about oh this guy who's riding his bicycle that looks just like a lion what sounds does he make from his mouth does if he can make a lion noise while he's riding his bicycle what does it sound like well that is going to have to be the the end of the story because i ran out of pictures and i can't make up any more stories and I decided that uh, that the guy with the lion bicycle is the winner of the bicycle contest. So he's just the winner. I just decided that. So hopefully by now, you're asleep. 
and you're having a good sleep. And if it's your mom or your dad, uh, I hope that they are sleeping right now too. And if you want to know more stories like what I told you, you can go back and listen to my stories or go to my YouTube channel and watch me tell the stories or you can go to the library and, and find Greek stories or Greek plays or Greek history and there are tons and tons of cool stories. I really recommend it. So, you have two homeworks. One is you have to be asleep. Number two, you should look up some Greek stories and then you can read them and you can learn all sorts of adventures. So with that, I'm going to say to you, that's the end of my bedtime stories for tonight. And I say to you, good night. Good night. Thank you.